Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to the part 2 of uh, this uh, group of videos on pagination, offset and key set based. Okay. Part 1 we have done a lot of coding. We have done this query builder thing. We are actually executing this query. We are getting the number of posts. We also created a create post method in the post service. Okay. This is our uh, create method somewhere. Yes. Here. Now one additional check we have to do here is because what is there is the title is unique okay in the table so we have to just check if post already exists or not right then we just need to say okay post already exists by title so here we are doing find one and here you can do where title uh, this should not be like this okay so we are passing the title and checking if title already exists if title already exists then we just return this we are not going to throw an exception here we will just say okay if title already exists then give us the title if title doesn't exist then we'll create a one so what we will do is const post and we will call this method this dot get by title and we will pass the, the post dot value of title and if post is coming which is not null that means we can just say already exist or something like that if post is there right so we will just do await this dot get by title why oh, it is complaining get by title find one where title equal to this okay we are using the same variable let's change it to post dto post dto dot title okay this fix our problem and some eslint sorry tslint thing and post with this title already exist and we will just say let's see what status code we can throw http status code conflict this is i think 409 and this satisfies our request if title already already exists then we will we will throw 409 otherwise we will allow you to create a post with that title and now wait for our server to come up okay so we have two apis here one is the the create post one another is a search so first we will create post and then we will search on the same data here is our query which we are running this is simple query select count star over as a count so it will always give me the total count irrespective of the offset and limit I have applied always remember that this is something which I explored while looking into the documentation it will not care about the offset and limit you applied it will give the overall count overall count which you are getting without uh, that offset and limit and then JSON B2 record set this is a function to do the operation on the JSON B it's like a it's indirectly doing a join over the data I mean it is extracting out all the tags from that array object and just checking this and giving me the tag item so I can run a simple query onto this tag item dot tag okay and then giving us the count so here we discussed two three things like uh, how this database is working how to add the indexing how to search on the JSON B column your your column can be as complex as you want and then how to apply the offset and limit kind of pagination so that is simple we just we are just adding the where close and that is helping us we are getting the limit and the page and limit from the, the query parameter and based on that we are calculating the skipped items now let's wait for this server to come up and we will do this testing of this API what all results we are getting 
okay when you look at look at the search how it is working we, we already know that this is the request parameter right so query parameter we have search term tags and you can keep adding the item because this is of type array if you are sending a single item it will be considering that as a search okay like if you just do it right away then you check the curl request you are making you can see tags equal to this now if you add another tag then you will have a two tag array two tag items you are passing right uh, the next yes dto transformer automatically converting these tags into an array and sending it to the our service tags in form of an array and then we are extracting how many tags you have and applying the query all those things we are running now we got our application up and running so let's first create a tag first create a post i think this post already exists so you can get you are getting 409 let's change the title string 1 yes we should be able to create string 2 so we are just creating some dummy data in the database and these are the tags we have let's say i'm adding this test this is hello and the tag is 9 okay this type of data i have stored in the posts and we can also see that in the the post table open content okay here we got this is of type jsonb and these are the ids right these are ids are not uuid these are auto incremented uh, integer primary keys right so we can actually do the key set pagination also here now i will just do a simple search string page number one and execute so we are breaking something let's say let's see what is uh, breaking here i think something wrong with the query let's see what is uh, from close query from table tag item missing from close in the entry okay let's go here in our query from post i think do we need email from post count id items okay yes i think we missed we are actually getting the tags also text from table and then json to record set as tag item it is something else let's see missing from close entry okay this is not tag items this is only tag item i think this is the mistake we have done okay let's see this i just save the changes
okay here we are getting the output uh, we are getting the data total count total count is 4 page 1 limit uh, is 10 and you can see we are getting the title id uh, email tags and all right so this is the basic offset based search now we can also talk about the key set based search right so this is a simple query we are executing if you just uh, because there is a query logger is also logging some output we are just selecting the tags id title json v2 record set and then we are actually extracting the tags value from tag item dot tag and doing the like query okay so this is simple offset based query i hope now you you have received whatever i wanted to discuss what i can do is i will post this i will just post this to the github and you can actually explore more on on to this it covers a lot of aspects about optimizing the search and all these things you can also check the performance by keep adding the new index if you need but uh, this is a simple search on to this now this can have millions of record postgres is already fast it is going to give you the the data within one second or less than one second i mean i will say Okay, uh, thanks everyone.